Hello and welcome star citizens to the trading guide. In this guide we will have a look at the ships to use, commodities to trade, locations to go and the risk versus reward. But before we go into the video let me express my special thanks to my currently 92 subscribers after 4 weeks on YouTube. Thank you so much. Of course you can go trading with any ship that has at least some cargo space. But as a rule of thumb, the less cargo space you have, the more profitable your commodity should be. Check out my other video where I try some illegal trading with the Spirit C1 and the Mercury Star Runner. This video we will concentrate on legal trades, so the more cargo space we have the better. By the way, I currently do not own a Hull B or Hull C. Let me know in the comments if you have tested them and if they work. For the commodities, this is a constant trade-off. What profit can I expect from this commodity? Is it available? And what upfront investment do I have to make? For this video I've tested 10 commodities that you see on the screen now. If you can you should concentrate on the most valuable of these. Now let's go out into the verse and do some trading. The first route brings me to the planet Luria and the Humboldt Mines. This is a very special place. It lies on top of a hill so rarely anybody goes there. It is really hard to land a big ship here and I expect huge stocks of commodities to be found here. I used the ramp to exit the ship. The descending ramp will stabilize the ship and give it a better positioning. Also I can make sure that I can get back into the ship later. At the trading console you see that the stockpiles are all full. I can easily fill my ship. However the most valuable good that I will find here is titanium. Which is okay. So let's get back to the ship and back to area 18 to sell the titanium. Who's that nice fellow here? Making some jokes with him and he's playing with me. Overall, the full trade of Titanium brought us a profit of 98,000 Alpha UEC. Not bad, but we can do better. So we go back to Luria to mining area SAL5.
We have two alternatives here, with barrel and diamond. Neither will fully fill our cargo space. Eventually I will buy both of them. For that I need to invest more than 1.7 million Alpha UEC. Combined profit is 267,000 Alpha UEC. Let's try another classic run, the Laranite run in Ariel. Again, Laranite will not completely fill our cargo, but we can combine this with Titanium. The Laranite brought us a profit of 157,000 Alpha UEC. Not calculated here is what we earned from the Titanium, which is another 40 or 50,000. Time to be a bit greedy, I'm already on my way to Hurston Rappel. This is one of the recently added locations where we can buy recycled material composite. Be careful, this is not a safe zone. Also buying goods here is really expensive. Cargo space is not the limiting factor here, but the amount of alpha you see, you are willing and able to invest upfront. I take a bit of a risk here and invest 3.5 million alpha you see.
I cannot sell the cargo all at once, I need to wait a server tick. I made myself a nice cup of coffee and after I could sell for a price of 4.33 million Alpha USC, which is a profit of 781,000 Alpha USC. My last trading run for today brings me to the Pyro Jump Gate. From here I will transport Hephaestus Knight to Area 18. This is a nice trade route as you are going from safe zone to safe zone. Also the profits are really good. This trade run gave me a profit of 254,000 Alpha UEC. In all my trades today I had no issues whatsoever. No pirates, no griefers, no 30k's or server crashes. Here you see the summary of my trading day. Depending on the risk you are willing to take and the capital that you are willing to invest up front, you can really make more than a decent profit. Also here you see what I earned per SCU transported. Medium ships should concentrate on those goods that are highly profitable. Personally, with a small ship I would only trade gold or recycled material composite. Or maybe consider illegal trade routes. If you have not done already, please check out my other video where I cover illegal trade routes as well. If you found this guide useful or you got some entertainment here, please consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks a lot and see you in the verse.